Chapter 1. They always come back. They always come back. It was real, Maggie thundered in the silent kitchen. Brian was puzzled. What do you mean? I saw your dad one year ago. Her voice shivered in harmony with her body. You know that's impossible, Brian shouted. I know. I know very well. He died five years ago. But it was him, Maggie replied. Nonsense, Brian exclaimed. He came to see me. His gesturing hands, smile, voice. I know it was your dad, Maggie replied. I miss him. Her voice broke as her tears fell. Very much. I know, Mum. I'm sorry. Brian apologised, giving her a handkerchief. Don't worry, Brian. It's not your fault. Maybe it's better I tell you what happened, Maggie reassured him. She was shivering more and more, but the more she spoke about it, the more there was a sense of relief. A flashback emerged in her memory. I was reading a book at about ten o'clock when somebody knocked on the door. I thought, who could it be at this time? I opened the door, and the first thing I saw was a thick fog. It was very strange, thick fog on a summer night. Then a figure appeared out of the fog. It was an old man. I couldn't describe him very well because he had a hooded jacket. He was carrying an umbrella. Good evening, madam. I am sorry to disturb you. I am a friend of your husband. The stranger smiled. Good evening, sir. Can I help you? I replied. My name is Mr. Peter Anderson. Your husband knew me very well. We worked together in the same company. Peter gestured with his hands as he spoke. Very strange. My husband never spoke about you. He never kept any secrets from me. Maybe he forgot to tell me about you, I replied. I liked Peter, even though I had never met him before. Can I come in? Peter asked. Yes, of course, come in, I gestured. Thank you. We started to speak about my husband, the time of our happiness, you, and the past. I was very surprised at his interest in my husband and at his gesturing hands. Despite the lights in the house, I couldn't see his face. The clock struck midnight. I couldn't believe the time had gone by so quickly. Peter apologized. I'm sorry, but, but it's too late. I have to go. It was a pleasure to meet you. Bye-bye. Thank you very much for coming. You remind me of all the best memories of my husband. Bye, Peter. My voice was joyful. I closed the door. His dry umbrella was near my door. Quickly, I opened the door. Sorry, Peter, you forgot your umbrella, I shouted. I was shocked. The fog had vanished, and millions of stars were shining in the sky. Never mind. Tomorrow I'll phone the company and I'll arrange to give him back his umbrella, I thought. Closing the door, I switched off the lights before going to bed. The following morning, I phoned the company. I was shocked to find out that no Peter Anderson had ever worked there, and Peter's umbrella had vanished like the fog the night before. I started to believe it was him. It was my husband. You see, Brian, it was your dad. They always come back. They always come back. These final words echoed in their minds. And it seems they become stronger and stronger on foggy days whispering in the house. They always come back. They always come back. Yeah, 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 yeah.